What's happening internet? Sean here, Mahalo.com. Now, in this step, I'm going to show you how to physically install a video card into your computer. So, let's check it out, let's get started. Now, first, to get to your video card, you have to open your case. Now, more times than not, a standard case, being an ATX case, will have... Doo -doo -doo, four to six screws on the back. One, two, three, four, five, six. And you can either open it from, depending on the case, you can open it from the side or the top, depending on how your case opens. Once you have your case open, you'll want to spot your video card, which will be pretty much right about here in your system. Now, uh, if you can't tell which one is your video card, uh, a good test, a good, really good simple thing to do is just take a look on the back side. Um, here's our video card because we have a VGA port, we have a DVI and HDMI, which are all video ports. Now, not to get confused with our motherboard that also has video on it as well. So we can't remove that, it's not coming out at all, but this is our video card because it's separate and it's an expandable card. To remove your, video, to remove your old video card, it just has one screw on the bay right over here. Do -do -do -do. You want to remove that screw. Get that guy out of there. Save the screw. Once you have the screw removed from your video card to remove it, you want to unclick it because there's a little latch in there. I don't know if you can see, if you guys can see this uh, little latch. Wiggle the video card back and forth and make sure you have it unlatched. Then, bada boom, comes right out, no problem. If your video card didn't work for some reason or another, you might want to take a take another look at it because sometimes the sometimes the fans on these video cards will go out and it'll simply burn up the video card and that's an issue if you have a warranty on your video card, you can send it in for a warranty. So, one thing to take note of. Then, when you have your new video card, you'll want to install it in the same spot. And more times than not, the spot you'll be installing it in via AGP or PCI Express It'll have that same lock, that same little lock mechanism. That's for, show you. See, I'm kind of grabbing it by the edges here. And that's for this guy right here. Because this guy is how it locks in there. So, to install it again, kind of wiggle it back down in there. And to see if it's all the way seated, if it's all, if it's all the way in there, give it a good press. Um, this piece right here will be flush with the computer. So, to give you an idea. And, one other thing too, um, more times than not, depending on who makes your computer or where you got it from or if you built it yourself, sometimes the spacing will be slightly off on the motherboard to the case. So when this little part right here gets lined up right there, it might be touching your motherboard or, or kind of motherboard might be in the way. So take note of that. Make sure this guy goes just outside the motherboard and kind of locks into the case. So again, grabbing it from the edges. And then make sure the back make sure the back of it is locked in. Good luck. And don't forget that little screw. Once we get the screw in there, one other thing: a lot of video cards these days require extra power, so you might have to grab some extra power from your power supply and plug that into plug it into your video cards so that so the fans are running it, so it's it's cooled cooled adequately. So put the screw back in. Now that our video card's been installed, we want to make sure that that fan is running once the computer turns on, because if it's not running, we definitely want to turn it off fast and make sure that we have all the power connections connected to that video card so that the fan is running on that video card. So there you go, guys. We just installed a video card. Very simple and easy process. So now we're going to be going on to the next step. All right, guys, and just a reminder, this video is one step in the process of elimination to finding out why your PC is running so slow. So if you just stumbled upon this video, you might want to go to step one, and that'll be in the description of this video. And remember guys, you can send any of your problems to me for viruses, spyware, and PC performance that I haven't covered in this series. Just send those to requests at mahalo.com, and remember, only you can prevent spyware, viruses, and all that bad stuff on the internet.